Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and happy Black History Month. If you are a new subscriber, you are welcome or a new viewer, you are welcome. My name is Chatley and if you are a returning subscriber, a returning viewer, welcome all the same. And so in today's video, I'll be talking about my piercings. I don't know if you guys have noticed, but I actually had piercings, um, I think a month ago. Yeah, yeah, it makes one month um, today or yesterday rather when I since i've had this piercing and i just thought that it was going to be a good idea for me to just you know like tell you guys about my experiences and the process and all that just in case you have any interest or you've been thinking about doing it and you are scared like me yeah so um a little background before So yeah guys a little background before um before i actually went for this to get my piercings my nose piercing um i actually did a lot of research and even before then i i had I actually was so scared because of the information i had gotten about like some people's um piercings getting infected people having um like just different different kind of uh, um unfortunate situation people having like bombs and keloids and all that so i personally was just scared about that happening to me so i tried as much as possible to be like let me find out everything i called about it and if you have anxiety and, and you're paranoid like i am you would actually do the same and that wasn't actually my main challenge before i before i did this my main challenge was getting my mom to agree and yes guys i need permission from my mom um <clears throat> It took me a year, it took her like a year, over a year, because I told her, I first told her about this in 2019, she was like, no, um, she finally accepted last year, yeah, around September last year, and I had finally got the courage to do it um, this year, I did it the 5th of Jan, immediately I, I got back from Umbale for my Christmas, I went through it, I had without even without thinking twice like i just went straight because i knew then that i was ready and i remember a friend of mine um she also has piercings and i was talking to her about it and i was like hey <coughs> excuse me <coughs> i was like hey i want to have my nose pierced but like i don't know for some reason things have not been happening and she's like it will happen when it's supposed to happen so like just chill and don't stress out about it and it finally did um i got my um my piercer like the guy that pierced my nose i because i had done all my research i knew what and what i wasn't supposed to do and and guys like having your nose pierced is like a lot of commitment for one it takes four to six months for your nose piercings to heal so it's not like other piercings that take um lesser time um but it takes four to eight to six months rather to heal and so because of that i knew that it was something that i had to be fully committed into and that was what he actually told me when we spoke over the phone i spoke to him about it and i was like hey i asked him questions like what are you like what are your procedures what do you do and after he answered all my questions and i was satisfied with his answer satisfied with his answers we went ahead and scheduled an appointment which i went for and um after going for that um i had my nose pierced and everything was went smoothly actually like he used um needle like he's supposed to um not gun and you guys should please ask before you go in case you are thinking of going make sure that when it has to do with your nose piercing they don't use a gun because for gun that is like a blunt um um force to your nose which is not advisable and like it's makes it harder for your like it just takes longer for your piercings to heal so um try as much as possible to get go to go to a piercer that will um that will pierce your nose using a needle rather than the the gun so we did everything everything was sterilized everything was it was done the only thing i would say is that i did bleed a lot like i did and he was like it happens sometimes and um of course i stopped after like some seconds but i did bleed a lot um um but after that and it wasn't as painful as i thought it was going to be i thought it was going to be like really really painful because i had my 
my um my my ear pierced when i was still very small so i never really experienced um piercing so um well, i don't have a memory or recollection of it rather so going into this i really expected it to be like really painful but it wasn't just it was like less than 30 seconds and that was it just it was just like how would i describe it like a very like a pre you feel this pressure like in your nose um so guys the only thing i would say is that i did notice that my eyes did begin to like water a bit but that, like that was just all and uh, everything was done very quickly um he he um i decided on a stud and he used the nose screw which i think would be a better option for you when you are starting um when you have your nose pierced for the first time just because it's steady um it doesn't move i don't know like it's not easy to move it doesn't move um move out easily so i think it's more secure um although um, mine actually this is not the one i had initially prior to this i had um a nose stud this is just just has like a a, a ball on it but i had a nose no stud uh, initially um i read before before this before my my piercing that there are people's um nose um this thing that can actually no screw can actually come off mistaking and i was like how like it's very secure but it did happen to me actually guys it did like i remember on like the 10th day just know then the pain was gone um i wasn't feeling any pain everything was you know healing well and i was doing all i was the aftercare um which i would go into a, a bit after this um but i was i had like longer thumbnails and i was about i was just cleaning it and i just mistakenly whew, and i immediately started bleeding and um like the nose the nose crew came off like it came off with so much force um i really cried i didn't cry because of the pain but just because i was told that um nose nose rings they heal they the nose the nose closes very fast so um you have to be very fast about it and this happened during the time that internet was shut down during the election here in uganda and it just made my life much more hard because i called um the piercer to book an appointment he was like because of the situation and all that he wasn't open until when everything had stabilized so fortunately i had like in um, an earring that i a studded earring that i never use i've never used it before so i just cleaned it and i had it in my nose for like basically five five days before i went for my appointment and i had this one installed but ever since that everything has been fine everything has been good healing well fortunately i didn't have any bumps or anything like that i, do, I don't have any complications or any infection um so i would want to tell you guys what i what i use and so i was supposed to he told me to um have a saline mix and then then i mix it in um like a saline mix so i warm it and all that so i'll just show you guys what i use to have um to make my my mixture so i have i use distilled water and then i mix it with this um sea salt it's very cheap i literally just bought this four thousand shillings at mega mega standard if you're in kampala I'm very sure you know where that is so i got this at mega standard but I'm, I'm very sure that you can get it in any other supermarket but that was where i got it and then i also have this um you can see it's almost over but i almost i also have this wipes that i have been using uh, it has antibacterial in it i've been using it to clean because i i initially used um cotton buds but like it kept the cotton kept getting hooked inside the studded um the studded nose the nose screw so i had to constantly keep you know removing it after that and it wasn't just i didn't like it so i went for the um wipes i went for the wipes and it has been working for me perfectly well um the first two weeks three weeks i would say of having this i wasn't allowed to have soap or anything in in that area so what i would do is that i have like a very soft little uh, towel with me that i would like put my soap in and you know use it to wash my face and then also go ahead and clean it just so that i can so i avoid um water and avoid chemicals or any other thing 
getting into that place um i will do that twice a day i've been doing it twice a day for the past three weeks and then like when i got to the fourth week i'm just doing it i just do it once now i just do it once a day and i'm done so yeah guys that is um that is that all in all um so i would say when it comes to inconveniences i would say for me personally i didn't really have any inconveniences because uh Honestly, I thought I was going to. It was going to be uncomfortable for me to move around with it. Um, I thought I would like because I was scared of feeling judged and all that. But it actually worked out well for me because I I am so comfortable having it. Uh, I know a lot of people have a problem with you know it always popping up. But I think because mine is like quite small, and so I don't have that problem. Like I I don't always see it like you know in my view. Because I know some people have complained about it, but I don't always see it in my view. Like, most times I even forget I have it. So, that's that. And then, like, when it was healing, like, three days or from the first the first um, three days, um, you have to be very conscious of touching your nose. Because, like, it's so easy, you know, your nose is scratching your, like, like men just know like it can get painful when you just you know you know because you use all the force and all that and my brain does not register in time that hey you still have something there that it's healing i just you know and then by the time i realize what i'm doing it's already too late my hands are there so that's just it make sure you just do what you're supposed to do in case you do that make sure you constantly um have your nose cleaned uh, and um, avoid touching it with your hands just leave it just allow it to be i know like it can be quite exciting when you have this new feature in your face i would say and like you always want to look at it and feel it and all that but like as much as you want to do that please don't do that and especially now that we have covid19 like please don't do that just try and act as if it doesn't even exist except on occasions where you want to clean it so that is it for this video guys um i hope this video you found this video so that is it for this video guys i hope you found this video helpful in any way um if you did let me know by liking and also let me know in the comment section if i wasn't able to answer any of your questions or if you still have like questions that you want me to answer just tell me in the comment section i'll try as much as possible to answer if i have a lot of questions then maybe i'll just have to do a part two on this just so that you guys can um just so that i can answer all those questions and yeah guys if you found this video helpful informative or entertaining in any way don't forget to like and subscribe and also turn on the notification bell just so you get notified every time i upload a new video i i, I know that i haven't been consistent this past um this past last month i'm so sorry about that guys i've had exams i've had to deal with school stuff and all that but i am back guys and i promise i'm going to be back to uploading more frequently thank you all guys for watching and i will see you guys in my next video bye